Hey, what's up everybody? It is Thursday on Gender Crit Chat. Um, I am lying on the floor spooning with my dog, so please excuse the uh, dog nose and face in the video. He's adorable. <laughs> Hold on, let's see if you can see. Ah, uh, spooning. Anyway, um, so this week's topic is uh, we're actually responding to um, a comment that was left on my video from last week. Um, in the video I had mentioned that for a while I thought I was FTM and then I uh, came into the genderqueer identity. Um, itchy nose, sorry. <laughs> um, so this person is sort of struggling, um, you know, feeling sort of connected both to the FTM um, as well as the genderqueer uh, identities and uh, sort of feels like there's attributes of both that fit, but neither is really right. Um, so they would like to know about our personal journeys, you know, navigating these feelings. Um, I think this is a really important topic. Um, <laughs> sorry. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, I think that I sort of finding it hard to kind of summarize all of this in like a, you know, meaningful 10 minute video. Um, oh, stretch. <laughs> Sorry. I'm totally distracted by the dog right now. I apologize. It's like two minutes and I haven't said anything. Um, yeah, so my journey sort of between the FDM and genderqueer identities. Um, I think I feel, when I was a kid, I felt, um, you know, I sort of raised as most of us are in this, you know, binary way of thinking where, you know, there's males and there's females. Um, and even though a lot of my upbringing, like I had, you know, some parts of my family, like my grandparents and stuff, um, and their little social circle and everything was very, um, you know, gender binary oriented. Um, but then my parents, who sort of were, you know, children of the, I guess, the 60s and 70s, they kind of, um, you know, they kind of, like, had more of a, like, my mom was, like, a feminist and that kind of stuff. Um, and... So they kind of, um, they didn't fight, like, you know, they it was more about gender roles, not about, um, you know, gender itself. Um, but, so I had sort of, like, this input from all of these different types of being, except, like I said, it was more about gender roles and not about sort of this intrinsic, innate sense of gender that people have. So I still had this feeling, because I didn't feel female, I didn't feel like a girl, um, I just sort of said, I wish I was a boy, I want to be a boy. Um, you know, treat me like a boy. Um, and I sort of did a lot, like Matt said too, like I would sort of think of all of these things that I did that, to sort of justify how I was more like a boy than <laughs> like a girl, like, you know, yeah. Um, anyway when I really started kind of, then I grew up and yada, 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 a whole bunch of crap. Um, and then I started researching gender and sort of came across, uh, the FTM community. And I felt like I really, um, connected with a lot of the FTMs. Um, they were, in terms of body dysphoria, I had um, I did have body dysphoria, I still do, um, it's not really, really strong, um, and I feel like, I think some of the body dysphoria comes from, you know, being treated like a female because of my body, and I guess that's not really dysphoria, that's more sort of just being grumpy about um, my body being in this sort of thing that makes people treat me a certain way. Um, because when I am treated just as a person and just 
for who I am and what I am. Um, I'm way more comfortable with my body. Um, it's not 100%. If I could, you know, snap my fingers and, you know, have a male body, I would do that. Um, but I'm sort of, you know, this is sort of the tool, like, this is what I have, and the dysphoria is not bad enough to go through all of the crap of, you know, the hormones and the surgeries and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I sort of, yeah, so anyway, at some point I tried to think about, um, what my, oh, <laughs> stretching, sorry, I tried to think about, like, what was my, um, like, what is gender? Like, what makes people really feel one way or the other? And what I came to realize, like, I, I talked to a lot of people and asked a lot of people about, you know, why they feel like, you know, how do you know you're a woman? How do you know you're a man? How do you know all of that? Um, I talked to a lot of people. I read books, all that kind of stuff. Um, and at the end of the day, what seemed to be is people would just say they just know. They just have this innate sense of who they are. And when I, it, like, I did a lot of sort of self-reflection. And when I looked deep into myself, I realized that um, I don't, like, have an innate sense of gender. I just don't. I don't feel female and I don't feel male, and, um, you know, I'm not really FTM because I don't have that innate sense of male in the same way that I don't have that innate sense of female, so if I were to transition and do all of that, I would be sort of struggling in the same way, probably, because I would be, you know, I'd be a man, and I'd be treated as a man, and all that kind of stuff, and I would still be feeling the effects of gender, um, and even more so because I would be putting all of that energy into, um, you know, just sort of treating my gender, um, and I just, at the end of the day, it was all about turning inwards and feeling, you know, and like Matt said, you know, figuring out who I am by understanding who I'm not, um, so, yeah. I just want to say, too, Matt and Andrea both made amazing videos this week. They were so thoughtful and insightful and wonderful. And I'm really, I'm really grateful to be a part of this and to know such amazing people. And, um, yeah, I think it's, yeah, really great. Um, yeah, their videos were just really, really good. And, yeah. So, um... What else? Oh yes, Mac or PC. Uh, I use PCs. That's sorry. The bonus question this week is uh, Mac or PC and why? Um, I use PCs. I use PCs because um, I grew up on PCs, and back in the '90s, Macs kind of sucked, so we had PCs. <laughs> um, and then at some point. Sorry, the dog just hit the phone and went like flying across the room. Anyway, so at some point, um, my parents, my stepdad actually worked for HP, and so I got like a family discount, you know, or he got a discount. <laughs> Fucking hell, dog. Stop doing that. So, yeah, sorry. So he got a discount. I got a discount because he got a discount. Um, and then I have a big ass screen that I love to use because I love to use two screens because I hate using, um, I hate having to like minimize things and put them up with a bit of that. So I usually have like whatever I'm working on on one screen and then on my research and stuff on the other screen. Um, and the screen that I bought was PC compatible. So now I have this screen that I want to be able to use and it's PC compatible. Um, last time I went to buy a computer, I actually looked at Macs and decided against it because 
I've got stuff that works with PCs now. Um, and I also find, I think it's just because I know how to use PCs, I find them easier to use. I find Macs really confusing. Like, I have an iPhone, and I still, I still don't get fully how it works, but yeah. Anyway, um, that was this week's topic, and I will see you guys next week. Bye.